But I, I think in, in within the Democratic Party, and, and we're seeing this even now, there is this tendency to play up this divide between the you know, moderate center left and uh, the you know, Bernie uh, AOC wing of the party. Uh, and the truth of the matter is, is that aspirationally, you know, the Democratic Party is pretty unified. What we consistently see evidence of is when it comes to racial attitudes, when it comes to, uh, you know, an insistence that uh, our economy should be uh, fairer uh, and, and more just and, and should result in less inequality, when it comes to how do we preserve this planet, um, you know, young folks got it all over on us. Uh, and, and, and part of what I've been uh, trying to consistently encourage is how can we get more and more of those young people into leadership positions? Um, and how can we make sure that their voices are heard? Our politics oftentimes has to deal with at least some politicians uh, uh, encouraging the notion that some kids uh, aren't worthy of our same concern uh, because they're not like our kids, uh, because they're brown, because they're black, because their parents are irresponsible and so forth, right? And, and, and so uh, in that sense, uh, some of the awakening that we saw this summer around, uh, you know, police practices after the George, George Floyd murder, the larger conversation that raised about, you know, uh, uh, can we uh, have a, a, a better reckoning around uh, the legacy of slavery and Jim Crow? Uh, you know, that's a, an important piece of business. Until we can get back to the place we still were to a large degree when I ran for office in 2007, 2008, where I could go into a conservative, you know, rural community uh, where there weren't a lot of black folks, and I could have a face-to-face -face conversation with people, and they'd give me a fair hearing, uh, and I'd listen to what they were thinking, and we could come up with some agreed upon uh, ideas and, and there was a mutual recognition that we were uh, both you know, hoping for the same things for our kids uh, and for the future and what constituted fairness and uh, you know, uh, how you know, hard work should be rewarded. I could still do that in 2007, 2008. And it's very hard to do now. And that, I think, is, is the, the, pro, the, the problem that I don't yet have a solution to, the massive filter through which a big chunk of America is receiving information, more accurately misinformation, uh, uh, day in, day out. It's a legitimate criticism of my early years to say that uh, by me uh, leaving the door open for negotiations and, and communicating the desire for bipartisanship uh, long after it became apparent that there wasn't going to be uh, uh, any reciprocation on the other side, uh, that it, it, it perpetuated, certainly in, in the Washington press corps, uh, this idea that, well, maybe the only reason we're not getting more, uh, you know, legislation is because, you know, Obama's not nice enough to, you know, Republican leaders. You know, he, uh, he's not golfing enough with Boehner. He's not inviting over, over McConnell enough for drinks. And, and I, I try to dispel that. Yeah. But, but as you recall, uh, that was conventional wisdom. I mean, it continues to be to some degree to this day that, you know, the notion, oh, look at Reagan and Tip O'Neill, you know, 
Or alternatively, you know, what about Lyndon Johnson grabbing people's lapels? Uh, and, uh, you know, our, our, it, when we were in the White House, you know, we just sort of used to look at that and, and say, do, do people know uh, how big Lyndon Johnson's majority was in 1964? Our job now is to consolidate the victories and gains that we made on health care or on uh, you know, curbing Wall Street excesses or uh, environmental protection and building from there and being even more ambitious. And the next set of uh, reforms and initiatives that come out of the Biden-Harris administration uh, uh, are going to uh, need to take into account some of the same institutional or political constraints that I dealt with. I think for Joe and Kamala coming in to to understand that uh, uh, you 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 want to make the gesture, you want that gesture to be sincere, but that there comes a point in which you have to clearly communicate over and over again for the American people what the cause is for gridlock, why something's not happening. Uh, you know, I, I, that, I think, is a good lesson uh, for them to learn.